Hi folks, JS here again. Um, I want to start by thanking everybody for checking out the video blog, or the last video blog. Uh, although it's more of an update than a blog, you know, still. Uh, thanks to everybody. A um, couple things I want to talk about tonight. Uh, now, first off, Matt, please don't light yourself on fire. I'm sorry I gotta do this, but I gotta talk about Michael Vick and Brett Favre. Uh, two seconds. Um, I mean, th this is probably no news to anybody, but uh, we're still waiting to find out if, if Brett Favre is going to be coming back, uh, coming back out of retirement for the second time in two years. Uh, frankly, I think, personally, I think that, I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, I think it was backhanded. Uh, really, all he did was, you know, retire from Green Bay, wanted to go to Minnesota. Green Bay didn't want to let him to go to Minnesota, so he figured, oh, you know what, let's go to the Jets. I'll retire again after a year they won't mind if I go to Minnesota you know I mean I don't know uh, to me this is this is a little stupid um, you know it, anyway you make your own call you tell me you tell me actually leave me a comment you tell me what you think about Brett Favre coming back coming out of retirement again uh, uh, trying to go to Minnesota maybe he won't come back that's the other thing uh, you know um, and, and everybody's assuming he's just gonna be back nobody's considering well you know what what if his throwing arm isn't good enough? Uh, what if the surgery didn't go as well as predicted? Uh, you know, coaches are reporting that, hey, they saw a video of Brett Favre, and you know what, he seems to be fine. But, you know, who knows? We'll see. Uh, the other thing, Michael Vick, obviously, he, he's free, uh, finally, uh, serving a 23-month sentence um, for operating a dog-fighting circuit. Actually, from what I'm getting, he wasn't actually operating the... the dog fighting circuit he was actually bankrolling it so anyway let's call a spade a spade but uh, regardless uh, he, he's now apparently free there were at one point some news of him uh, going the TO route and somehow signing a contract with you know having a film crew following him and filming a reality show about him um, not sure if any of this is gonna actually happen uh, we haven't heard anything since so I'm assuming that it's probably not going to happen. My question to everybody out there is, does anybody really care about any of this? Uh, Brett Favre coming back. Uh, Michael Vick, you know, possibly, you know, being back in the NFL. Apparently he's supposed to meet with the commissioner on Friday. Uh, you know, I'm assuming he'll probably will be back. But, you know, don't get me wrong. I love Brett Favre. I think he's one of the best quarterbacks out there. Do I really care if he's back this year or not? Not really. I mean, I, I personally, actually, I think, you know, myself, he should stay in retirement. He should, you know, let, let it be. That's just me. Uh, Michael Vick, I, I don't really care either. Uh, n nothing against Michael Vick fans. Michael Vick's a great football player. But, you know, is he really going to sell tickets? Is he really going to be the guy that brings more fans into the stands? I, I don't think so. Uh, in any case, you let me know what you think. All right, sorry, I cut the video there for a second. Um, but uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, actually, is um, Ben Roethlisberger being accused of sexual assault. Um, he's been served a civil lawsuit for apparently uh, sexually assaulting this woman in his hotel room, you know, at some sort of an all-star event. Great news, JS. You know, I can't even remember what this event was. But any, in any case... Um, the civil lawsuit against him. Now, a couple things I have, a couple problems that I have with this whole situation. Uh, really, if if you get sexually assaulted, once you press criminal charges before, you know, going through a civil lawsuit, I I, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not all up in the judicial system, uh, but to me that would just make sense, you know. To me, what that shows, if you're going the civil lawsuit way, is that you're a gold digger. That's all that that's proving is that you want his money. Now, my second issue with this is, was there any proof that this woman was even in his hotel room? And if she was, what was she doing there? I mean, if you're not in his hotel room to sleep with him, why are you there? You're not there to play a game of Jenga, that's for sure. So, I mean, that's just me. If you're getting sexually assaulted, you go to the cops, you press charges, you have the guy arrested, you go through the courts. If you get a conviction, then you know what? If you're still not satisfied, civil lawsuit, get some money out of it. I have no issue with that. It happens every day. Going through a civil lawsuit and, and, and 
trying to get some money out of the guy before you actually, you know, have him charged for, you know, any crime whatsoever. I mean, I don't know. To me, that's Gold Digger 101. In any case, that, that's all that I had for today, folks. Um, thanks again for everybody for following me uh, on Twitter. Uh, it's www.twitter.com at the sportscast. Uh, everybody can check me out on Facebook also. Uh, obviously, the handle is the sportscast. Um, I found a way to embed the actual Facebook video into MySpace. Uh, so what you're actually seeing now is fed from Facebook just because the video quality is that much better. I mean, it's unbelievable the difference. Uh, <coughs> sorry, you can still see, however, the um, all the videos, uh, the video from Monday in the video bar at the top. Um, you know, some links in the, uh, the blog section about what I've, I've been talking tonight. Brett Favre, Roethlisberger, anything that I can find, I'll post in there. Uh, but I post a lot of links also on Twitter. A lot of, it, of information goes out. Again, stuff goes out automatically. So thanks, everybody, for checking me out. And uh, hope to uh, see you within the next couple of days.